Well, you always know when it's getting close to an AMD Radeon launch because, well, the leaks start flowing. And the latest is the technical specifications of AMD's upcoming Navi 21, 22, and 23 GPUs, which have leaked out via Reddit user Stibler. Well, this is coming to us via video cards, of course. And this is an absolute mother load of a leak that the user has managed to put together with what appears to be a painstaking accuracy. The information was reverse engineered from drivers present in the Mac OS, and it's likely legitimate. And because of that, we're not gonna mark this as a rumor. We're gonna go ahead and say, this is what you're gonna see. Of course, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, but we're, we're pretty confident in this one. Uh, because we've got really no reason to believe the information is inaccurate in any way. Now from the table we can see from Navi 21 GPU, which is likely the RX 6900 XT, will have 80 CUs. And assuming the ratio of CU to SP remains the same, we're looking at a 5,120 string processors on big Navi. Now Navi 21 appears to have two further variants the 21A and the 21B with the former clocking upwards to 2.2 gigahertz. And this would put the single precision compute performance of the cards at a solid 22.5 teraflops. For comparison, the Nvidia RTX 3080 has a single precision compute performance of 29.8 teraflops. Now this card, if priced correctly by AMD, could be an absolute winner. 22 teraflops of power is more than enough for the average 4K gamer, and something like 16 gigabytes of VRAM would make it tear through AAA games. Now, AMD does need to improve work on the DLSS alternative, however, which will most likely be the use of DirectML, which is part of the DirectX 12 Ultimate. Now, the younger brother of the flagship, the Navi 22 GPU, will have 40 CUs. And this is assuming the same CU count SP ratio, we're looking at 2560 shader cores. Impressively, however, it looks like they're finally going to get a mainstream 2.5 GHz GPU with Navi 22. The high clock also helps card punch way above its weight class and clock in a massive 12.8 teraflops of compute. Now this is performance that is slightly more than the Xbox Series X and more than enough for 4K gaming if you don't mind dialing down the settings just a bit. Now there's Navi 23 present as well, which has 32 compute units or 2048 cores. Now there is however no more information and no clock speed information, which likely means this GPU is still in the pipeline. Now AMD's RX 6000 series will debut on October 28th and it's very likely we're looking at a hard launch with good stock, but the way the year has gone so far, I wouldn't count on it staying on the shelves for very long. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.